Global Sustainability Methodology. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 285. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 285, September 9th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and build self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a path to global sustainability. And this is really our global sustainability methodology. Everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is our open source designs, plans, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for building that. That's what we're creating, is do-it-yourself instructions for replicating all of these village models, but also all of the expansions of sustainability that we're creating that are also a part of our, a part of our global sustainability methodology. And those expansions are in addition to highest good food, highest good energy, and highest good housing, the additions are the foundations of emotional sustainability that we've identified, which are highest good education models, fulfilled living models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. Putting all of these things together as a path to global sustainability by demonstrating the combined model is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that it will spread on its own. And open sourcing all the tools, tutorials, and resources, and do-it-yourself instructions so that they can be replicated as either the complete teacher demonstration hub or village model, or as individual components. So our global sustainability methodology is to try and provide something for everybody, and to do it so that in a way that is non-ideological and non-dogmatic, so that people can take what they want, they can replicate it the way that they want, and they can leave the aspects that they, that they don't want. If you're not interested in being part of global change and cooperative living and collaborative living, you don't have to. People can build these structures for themselves. They can build them as for-profit businesses. But one community is bringing together our all-volunteer team to build it, to demonstrate it, and to share it as a place that anybody can visit, all open source, all free shared, as a global sustainability methodology that is a path to complete global sustainability. And we see this as an opportunity, as a way to address the challenges of our, the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come by creating an abundant lifestyle that most people we think will consider to be better than the way they're living right now, providing sufficient resources and sufficient time so that those people that want to will have those resources and that time to help, like we are, to create global sustainability tools and resources that anybody can use, that everybody can use, and that helps humanity and is collectively doing the right thing. Living in integrity, creating an integrity, and building regenerative models that will improve life for everybody. And, not, and it doesn't require everybody to participate, even if a small percentage of humanity participates. And this is why we're working towards creating a self-replicating model, is because even if a small percentage of humanity participates, then we can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And really, the model is designed to demonstrate, to evolve, and grow such that we hope that the majority of humanity would want to participate. Because our global sustainability model, mod, uh, methodology is to invite as many people as possible to get involved, either for their own reasons, which could be entirely for their own reasons, may have nothing to do with global change or making a difference in the world, but also in cooperation and collaboration with us to expand the global suite of offerings and open source plans, tutorials, resources, everything that is that we're creating to grow that so that there's something for everybody. So we're starting with the seven village models that you see in the background here, and we're expanding beyond that. And so as people take our models and they evolve them and design them and hopefully build them bigger and better and even more sustainable and even more beautiful, if they share those open source plans with us, we will share them with the world. Or if they open source share them with the world, that's fantastic. And so this is how one community is creating global change. Open source, free shared, 
and demonstrate it as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And 30% of everything that one community is designing is purposed for visitors. It's meant to invite people eventually, and it's starting with 50 people, then growing to 100, then eventually inviting hundreds, then thousands, then tens of thousands, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people annually to come and visit one community to experience what it is that we're creating and to, to engage the offer that we are creating to take what it is that we're doing and replicate it. Replicate it, make it better, evolve it, grow it, improve it, but use it if you like it. And so that's our global sustainability methodology. And we're a 100% volunteer, nonprofit organization creating this because we want to see a world built on these ideas. We see it as a path to global transformation. If you run the numbers of 50 people starting something like this, if those 50 people can stimulate two more groups to start the next year, and if those two in the original, those three can stimulate four more the year after that to begin, and then eight and 16 and 32, if you run that process out within 30 years, we could engage enough of the human population to positively and permanently impact the whole planet. We would engage almost the entire planet if we kept replicating like that, just like that. So the self-replicating model, that's the foundation of our global sustainability methodology, including all aspects of a sustainable civilization is what we're all about. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team integrated the finished Seven Villages book into the website and updated all the village pages with the new graphics and downloadable PDFs. You can see some of this work here. This week, the core team also continued testing the open source Murphy Bed Furniture assembly instructions. We removed parts that will not be in the new design, designed all the new parts, and made corrections for the floating shelf. In addition, we created the first render with the new table and bed in the up position, table down, and the bed down. You can see some of this work in progress here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 20th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week he integrated changes needed from our 3D testing of the storage section instructions and worked on the parts list and initial layout for the bed frame, some of which you can see here. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 19th week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike created the three additional Earthbag Village renders you see here. Hemanth Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 20th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was finishing the research on the engineering details of the different kinds of earth that can be used to fill the bags. You can see some of the results of this research here. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 129 from Dean. His focus this week was working on the group table and spa component details and beginning work on the six dome cluster options that include the bathrooms. You can see some of this work here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, additionally completed his 26th week working on the compressed earthblock village render editions. This week he finished this final earthblock village second floor outdoor perspective looking east render. This is the final render for this village, which is now on the website too. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added the Seven Villages book into the Duplical City Center open source hub and updated all the related imagery and downloadable PDFs. The core team, working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 93rd week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was final lighting selection, placement and testing for the central pool and spa area, to produce and add to the website the graphics shown here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 21st week helping with the duplical city center materials and costs. This week she made corrections to the drywall cost analysis and updated the related images, added electrical lighting into the final cost analysis sheet, and corrected formatting issues throughout the document. 
some of which you can see here. Zhao Wafeng, civil engineer, also completed his 19th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week, he added labels to all the elevation drops in AutoCAD and updated the spreadsheet with these elevation drops and checked all the related calculations for zones A, B, C, D, E, F, and H. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. We continued reviewing and editing of the compost setup and hoop house sections, and then began a comprehensive review of the complete 20 person food rollout and implementation details. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished adding all the graphics and final formatting updates for the information maintenance and sharing, taking your learning with you page. Bringing this page to 100% complete finishes all of the education program design details until we're ready to implement it on the property. Now only the final ultimate classroom design details remain. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team reviewed and updated all the videos for the Conscious and Uplifting Music Project and added the list to Spotify. You can see some of this work here. Our executive director also attended the Climate Reality Training and became a trained member of the Climate Reality Corps. You can see some of the pictures from this 2200 person event here. Well. There you have it. There is one week of our all volunteer nonprofits team working towards uh, well, demonstrating our global sustainability methodology and open sourcing and free sharing all the components that we develop them. Uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source creations and components, everything that we've talked about, visit our written blog, visit our website, all the details are there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or if you like social media, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or through any of our social media avenues and you can manage your updates that way. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. And that includes, of course, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, Instagram, and about 15 others uh, as well. So wherever it is that you like to hang out as far as social media is concerned, we are most likely there. So join us there. And uh, if you'd like to see other ways to help out, um, well, the easiest way to help out is share our information on social media. But if you'd like to see other ways to help out, visit our helping page. We've got lots of different ways to get involved, to participate, and um, of course, just watching our videos to the end, liking our videos, uh, commenting on these videos, or liking or sharing our, our information on social media, all that stuff makes a big difference. If you're somebody that's donated to our project, thank you. That also makes a huge difference because uh, you know, we're a 100% unpaid team, including myself. So 100% of our donations goes right to forwarding our nonprofit mission. So if you're somebody that's helped contribute to that, thank you. We appreciate it. It does make a difference. And of course, if you're just somebody who's watched the end, thank you for that too. We appreciate it. That also makes a difference. So with all that said, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.